Well hello, thank you for joining me folks on the Church History Trail. Um, where we are today is we're not too far from our Ballyduff Hall and we're in the home here of one of our stalwarts and that's Dr uh, Billy Boyd and his lovely wife Jean. And uh, Billy's been on the road for a good number of years. Billy's actually 91 and still serving and loving the Lord. And also his wife Jean, she's 93. And again, still uh, serving and loving the Lord. Although their service has slowed down a good bit, as you can understand. And Billy hasn't been too well. And uh, so this is Billy and Jean. Hello, folks. How you doing? Okay. It's great to see you, so it is, on the Church History Trail. Yeah. And uh, so we'll have a wee chat. And then you want to share a wee thought from God's Word, Billy, don't you? Yes. So uh, tell me this, Billy. How long are you saved? I was saved on the 19th of January, 22. 1922. Boy, you've yes. been saved for some for some length of time. Yes. And how long have you been in the Belfast City Mission? Oh, all our days, both Jean and I. Different mission halls, of course, because we moved. Yes. But we've always been associated with the City Mission. Very good, Billy. And you've done a fair bit of preaching in your day? Well, I've done a good wee bit of preaching. Fantastic. And so what about you, Jane? How long have you been in the City Mission? I've been in the City Mission from, I got saved at 17. Mm -hmm. Just about a year after that, say 18, until 93. So you can count the years up from then. My goodness. One of the longest serving ones. And how did you and Billy meet? In Jersey Street City Mission. Oh, and what was it, a youth thing or something? Just a no, an ordinary, an ordinary meeting. Oh, just an ordinary meeting. Mm -hmm. And both of you used to be councillors, didn't you? Yes. And so I'll talk to Billy first a wee bit about that quickly. So uh, what party were you in, Billy, and how long were you a councillor for, if you can remember? I was in the DUP. Very good. I was in the council. I was a, a councillor for 12 years. My goodness. But then, unfortunately, I lost my seat. Yes. So... So, and then, did, you were still preaching at this stage when you were in the council, oh, yes. were you? Very I'm good. Still going. I'm on your car. And you were also in the council, weren't you, Jane? Yes, I got in the bail action. And let us into a wee secret of how the hall got built, because um, certainly the Lord used you to, to get the Belfast City Mission Hall where it is today, didn't it? Because yes. it used to be up in, in the shops or at Fairview Road, or on uh, well, Wood, Woodford, sorry, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. and... Uh, well, it's a long story, but when I was in a council, uh, they had a meeting about the housing executive and the head of the uh, Northern Board was there mm -hmm. that night. And uh, it was actually, Billy said to me, we were sitting at the back and he said, put it to him about getting the mission hall. It's, this had been on my mind because uh, being in a silly mission all my life, I love a silly mission. So I approached him whenever he was going out through the door and he just turned and said to um, Mr. Newman, who was then the house manager of uh, Ballyduff area, and he said, uh, he just said to him, take Councillor Boyd with you and find a site suitable for a mission hall. Fantastic. So um, that's how it all started. Went one Friday afternoon with Mr. Newman, Mr. Hume, and myself, Mr. Ferguson. And Mr. Ferguson, who was the secretary of the city mission at that mm -hmm. time, and uh, we picked a site, the site that the hall is on now, and then we seen it coming to fruition, and then Brilliant. finally built. And of course, Raymond Tume was the missionary yes, he then, he was indeed. and Raymond's done a fantastic work over the yes. years as well, him and his wife, uh, Farina. Yes. So fantastic. And uh, Billy, it's hard to take the preacher out of the man, isn't it? And so I'm going to read a wee verse of scripture for us, and you're going to give us a few thoughts on that. And the scripture is from Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6, and it says, Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And so what's your thoughts on that wee verse, Billy? Well, that's good back many, many years but Mr. Adrian Alger was taken over from Mr. Hugh uh -huh. and Mr. Fergan asked me to welcome 
him uh, on behalf of all the workers and friends of Fergie. Yes. And that wee verse came very close to me, which says, He that hath begun a good work in you shall continue until the day of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Very good, in that wee verse, we get the three P, the three P's. Mm -hmm. First one is the Lord Jesus Christ, the person. Brilliant. The second one was his purpose, who hath begun a good work in you. And the third word is the promise. Fantastic. Until the day of Jesus Christ. That is brilliant, and Billy. That's all I have to say. I'll have to remember that so well. Yeah. At first there I thought you said the free piece no. rather than the three piece. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, folks. Uh, great talking to you, Billy. And uh, I hope you're get well enough for our sale. Uh, maybe just plug the sale so well. Um, the sale is Saturday week, the 27th of January at our hall. It's the Betty Mateer Indoor Market, and it's to raise funds for uh, a new minibus that we need. So uh, if you're free, folks, why don't you uh, drop into if you live in the area or nearabouts, to the Belfast City Mission Fairview Road Hall. And it's an indoor market and there'll be bric-a-brac, there'll be books, DVDs, CDs, there'll be antiques, uh, oh, there'll be different things, clothes, there'll be food. So you're more than welcome to drop in. Hopefully, Billy, you'll be well for yeah. that. And it'll be great to see you and your lovely time? wife, Jean. What time? And that starts at 10 o'clock till 3 o'clock. So thanks very much for the interview. I was near going to call you there, uh, Councillor Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I will. Thanks for the interview, Councillor Boyd. <laughs> and thanks for the interview, Dr. Boyd. <laughs> and just before we wrap up, do you want to quickly tell us about the the uh, rewards, you know, the, the exams and stuff that you that yeah. you did? There's three, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Yes. A Doctor of Ministries, a Bachelor of Theology, and the Master of Arts. My goodness. That took me about 10 years. That's well. But I was never in any, any college. This was always a correspondence yes. course. And then the first one, I started off with Edinburgh Faith Mission, mm -hmm. a three-year course, which I did at a year and a half and got great results. Brilliant, Billy. So. Fantastic. And you've been a choir stalwart to the Verview Road Hall over the years. So that's fantastic. So thanks for watching, folks, and uh, God bless.